What's up guys? Welcome back. This is the JR Wisdom channel. Once again, I appreciate you guys for tuning in. This is your first time checking out one of my videos. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button along with the bell. That way you receive all the notifications for all of my future videos that have content like this. So with that being said, let's get right into it, guys. So I wanted to go over, you know, from time to time, I'll cover emails or sessions that I have with some of my clients. And I thought that this was important, not just from, you know, just from from a woman's standpoint of what she went through, you know, and guys can learn from this stuff as well, because it may pertain to you in one, one way, shape or form. But this woman in particular went through some stuff and she sought out by chance, like a lot of people come across my channel. She felt that I would be able to give her some good advice in reference to this. And I think we had a pretty good session. So I'm not going to talk too much about it. We're going to jump right into it. And I'm just going to read you her email and uh, I'm going to talk a little bit about the session that we had and some points that we discussed. Because it's not just women that go through this situation in particular. A lot of men do and they become stagnant and they feel like there's nothing else and they hold on to something that may, ne may never be instead of putting themselves out there. And this is a great example. So uh, let's get right into it. Good afternoon. I hope all is well with you. I'm scheduling this appointment because I'm in desperate need of advice. I grew up in a toxic environment. My mother chose her husband, who was my molester, over me and took my savings to buy their house. Leave me homeless. Leaving me homeless. My father left before I was born. I met him once when I was eight before finding him again at 30. I tried to move on and build a life for myself by going to school and joining the army. Got into therapy and even found a relationship. The relationship was great when he was sober, but his behavior when drunk broke us up after th after three years. Over a year after splitting, I learned my ex was in a drunk driving accident and a young man in other vehicles was killed. He was in prison for this. I felt terrible for him and visit him, visited to let him know I forgive him and wish him the best. One visit became two, then three. Fast forward nine years later, I've been alone except the 15 minute phone calls I get from him. Loyalty is very important to me, and I don't agree with dating around while maintaining contact with another man. He always tells me how much he loves me, and I want to believe him. It's now almost 12 years I've been with this man. I've been with this man, and I figured I could make this work and be the support he needs to get through this. I was committed until he calls me one day and tells me that a woman has contacted him claiming to be his daughter. All this time, I thought neither he nor I had children. If there was a remote possibility, he would have told me, right? Turns out the child is his, a child he didn't acknowledge or take care of because he thought the baby mama was a whore. I've been this, I've been this child and know the outcomes and am furious. I believe he needs to fix this, his relationship with his daughter incarcerated or not. She deserves at least, but I fear I am losing my dedication to be by his side. I learned to move on from what he did to me before, but due to my toxic relationship with my mother, I can't stomach the mere possibility of another woman like that in my life. You see, while he's trying to convince me that the notion of them hooking up again is impossible, even though he called her a whore, my own mother has recently gone behind my back in attempts to hook up with my father. When I was alone, crying, abused, molested, homeless, and went to war, almost died, she couldn't find him. He was hiding, didn't care. Now she's single and lonely. She found him. Her excuse, I'm doing it for you. We were attached. We were attacked. We were attached to, we were, it says attacked. We were attached to each other once. If we didn't have sex though, wouldn't you wouldn't be here. Thanks mom. Jump in the last father daughter relationship I may have because you need to get laid. I'm disappointed with him, disappointed with her, but I don't have the confidence to move on nor know if I deserve to help. So that one was quite a doozy. So she's only been, I think, only in two relationships. I believe at this time talking to her, she was 40 years old. So obviously she has some childhood trauma with therapy and some mother issues where mother is very abusive, verbally abusive, so on and so forth. And she feels like or well, her mother, like a lot of parents, rear their children 
and relatives will tell you you need to have unconditional love for your parent even no matter how bitter and toxic they are you still supposed to maintain a relationship i don't believe that at all and i don't condone that you should be no you should take disrespect or any toxic behavior from any relative or anyone just in general because it's not good for your mental stability it's not good for you overall with your emotions so on and so forth there's so much back and forth it's better to just be free of things and free yourself of toxic people unless you it's just going to be this whole cycle now in this other case this guy you know guys in prison are going to say anything you know because they have nothing but time to, to be creative and try to convince you and it's good to have someone on the outside especially that you had a relationship with but she said this guy early on who was her last relationship which was nine years ago she hasn't gone on a date hasn't been with the man or anything because of this situation with this man who she still has an attachment to even though he may be looking at you know he has life he has life with the possibility of parole um but she's still holding on to this because of the fact that she really hasn't had too much experience and she's this guy is probably telling her everything she wants to hear and a lot of guys can spot a woman with low self-esteem and know her triggers and things like that so she wants to be with this guy in prison which a lot of women women do and they'll stand by his side and life will just pass them by in her case but when we were talking she basically doesn't go out and do anything she goes to work comes home and basically just repeats the same cycle because she really doesn't feel that she's deserving even though there have been guys she said she's been approached multiple times asked out on dates but she just tells them no because she still has the attachment to this man and being whatever the situation with her mother that she may that she feels like she's not good enough and by doing this she's kind of following her mother's footsteps we well, you know her mother is alone or lonely and still trying to be in her life so we weren't put on this earth to suffer if you will we weren't put in on this earth to just sit in the house as much as we like to do play video games and watch movies trust me i do it myself we weren't put here to just spend our time doing these things guys we weren't put here to not to just be alone and not interact with the opposite sex especially the more you are away from it the more you think that you don't need people which at the end of the day you don't but still we all as human beings want that human interaction right and in her case, I know that's what she desires, but we make up these things that hold us back. You have to come to your own rescue. I'll tell that to everyone. I told it to her. I'll tell that to all my clients who contact me. You have to come to your own rescue. A lot of these stories and situations we invent in our minds and think that, you know, we're going to be awkward or so, or our, our so we lose our social skills a lot just by staying in the house and when we interact with somebody we can't take a compliment we don't know when somebody's trying to flirt with us we don't know how to flirt with other people that human element of interacting is kind of just gone and it's just like you're you're it's almost robotic and you're awkward so this woman's 40 years old she's still young can still have kids we can say geriatric pregnancy She's still able to have children at this point. She's at in, in her life and she lives in a, a large metropolitan city where there's nothing but things to do. And I asked her what she liked to do. And she told me some things she's like to do. So I'm like, you're going to find that person, this person that you are seeking or who you wanting to be because you don't want to be alone is waiting on you. This life that you want is waiting on you. Th these children that you want, they are waiting on you. But you're just sitting here like, woe is me, you know, blah, blah, blah. It's not going to fall in your lap. When I, when I did the video about falling in your lap, it's not going to fall in your lap sitting in the house. Exactly what I told her. You have to put your women. It's not that difficult, even though you have to learn what type of guys to look for. Women, you get approached so often. This woman lives this type of life and she still gets approached. She says she still gets approached. She just doesn't go on dates. Fellas, we got to go out there and we actually have to put in work a lot of times. 
But that's who we are as men. You have to do that. Rejection is just a part of being a man, getting rejected. So I say, I say this, I wanted to do this video to basically tell you guys, there are a lot of people out there who feel the same way you feel. They're afraid or they're scared of what the future holds and they let this hold them back where they're, you're cheating yourself out of a great experience or meeting a great person because of these things that we invent. You know, these projections, how we project ourselves. Oh, it's not going to happen. Oh, you know, you already defeat, have a defeatist attitude and it's, it's, it's not sexy. It's not attractive. It's not going to get you anywhere, guys. So I say this just like I told her, get out there. Enjoy your birthright, man. Meet that person that you're supposed to meet. If you stammer, if you stumble, if you stutter, it happens, man. It happens. That person you think is so cool, they do the same thing. And they get nervous in front of some people or, st or stammers, stutter and things like that. Everybody can't be cool at all times, man. You have to play the fool sometimes, man. You have to play that. You have to play this part where you're not always going to be that cool, sexy person that basically is a magnet. So that's all I have to say about it, man. Come to your own rescue, guys. So I hope you hope this guy, this video helps out someone. You know, I hope that you like it. I hope that you guys take your destiny into your hands. And, you know, if you're standing by someone like that, if you see a future, even if this person has life or there's nothing happening, there's so many other people out there, guys. Live your life. You're not here to suffer. Enjoy. So with that being said, let me know what you guys think below. Make sure you guys like, share, comment, and subscribe. Hit me up on Cali and Linktree if you want to book a one-on-one -on -one with yours truly. Hit me up on Linktree as well to purchase all my products, books, merch, all those things. And with that being said, this is wisdom. Peace be upon you all. The mercy and blessings of the Almighty. And I'll catch you guys on the next one, man. I'm out of here. Peace. On a dano, I will put a light in the sky for the G's that done turn memory from go. Blessings we send to the ghetto youth, them 